Hello everyone, my name is Julian and welcome to a new video on this channel, JP Zone TV. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the conveyor belts and how fast they really are. Because uh, every time you look at the Vicky or something, you can't see a real speed um, set. So I made myself the work and uh, thought, hey, how is well, how's the speed and what's it? And you're gonna see it right now, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so first things first, you can see the Mark 1 conveyor belts in the background. Uh, and we're gonna start with them. But first, let's uh, analyze what we're having to do with here. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is a uh, 69 uh, time nice. long road. Uh, and that means the total distance is 552 meters, uh, which we have to travel. Uh, you can see in the background the uh, just a short time rough of uh, time lapse from the uh, time I was standing there. And I'm gonna tell you, it was awful. I <laughs> just stood there and stood there and stood there. So uh, you're glad you don't have to see it. But let's calculate it and let's talk a bit about the Mark 1 build first, shall we? Now, um, the Mark 1 build is, of course, the slowest of all. You can see the recipe uh, right now, I think. <coughs> and it can cover or it can transport 60 items per minute but what are 60 items per minute because uh there's no real real life uh, speed for it now <clears throat> i calculated uh and you see the time uh, in the corner in the right corner but uh that's not really necessary for the, now on um because we have uh the total time we just stood there was seven minutes and 38 seconds that means uh, this is 485, uh, 58 seconds, which is equivalent to 1.2 meters per second or 3 uh, 4.3 kilometers per hour, which is extremely slow. <laughs> if we just uh, would have stood there uh, and uh, did nothing, we would need again over seven minutes just to finish this one. Uh, but you can see right uh, next to it, maybe. I just, I think I did the time rougher uh, there. We traveled or we sprinted uh, on the convoy belt and it took us uh, only 53 seconds, which is equivalent to 10.4 meters per second. And this is equivalent to 37.4 kilometers per hour, which is extremely fast in comparison to the 4.3 kilometers per hour, isn't it? Now let's see the Mark II conveyor belt next, guys. So guys, coming up next is the conveyor belt Mark II. Uh, you're gonna unlock it pretty early, but it gonna, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to craft because those reinforced plates, uh, they're gonna they're gonna make you suffer. Because, uh, I mean, the recipe for everyone who played it knows this is fucking awful. Because uh, the Mark III conveyor belt is actually, actually cheaper than the Mark II. But yeah, I think they won't gonna change that one in the full release. However, you can see the recipe in the background, uh, as I said with the Mark I belt. Now, uh, you can transport 120 items per minute with those belts. 120 items per minute. Uh, that means they should be double the speed, right? Yes, uh, it took us 3 minutes and 49 seconds or 229 seconds uh, just in order to uh, just in order to finish all uh, the track, those 69 uh, foundations. Now, though this is equivalent to 2.4 meters per second, which is, of course, equivalent to 8.6 kilometers per hour. Well, pretty obvious. Uh, again, in the background, you can see the just time rougher. Uh, a time lapse of the time I was standing there. Now, the Mark III belt, however, which we're coming right now, uh, was in fact a bit more difficult to calculate because I had to stand there and just calculate everything. I couldn't just double it uh, like I did with the Mark II belt. Now guys, so let's hop right into the Mark III belt. So uh, yeah, I made a bit of a mistake uh, when I was cutting. I just saw that uh, I forgot to tell you about the speed when you're run running on it. Now guys, it took me um, 48 seconds to complete the track, which is a bit surprising because uh, it took us 53 seconds with the Mark I belt. So that's not that much faster. Uh, but nevertheless, 48 seconds is equivalent to 11.5 meters per hour 
which is also equivalent to 41.4 kilometers per hour. So now after the quick cut, now let's see the Mach 3 belt, guys. So coming in at the third spot are the number three or the Mark III convoyer belts. Uh, they take steel and you unlock them in the early mid game, uh, right when you unlock coal power, which is definitely your biggest milestone uh, yet. The next one will be then uh, fuel uh, and all this stuff. But, for, but, but let's just stick to uh, the steel at first. Uh, in the background, you can see the image or the recipe, uh, what it takes. This is pretty much one of the cheapest conveyor belts. Uh, I personally think they are the best to use. Uh, if you have a good steel production, um, I would recommend using them for every single factory until you have really go insomniac mode and build like huge things. But now let's come to the numbers. It took me one minute and 42 seconds or 102 seconds uh, to complete the whole track, which is definitely faster than Mark 1 and Mark 2. Um, that means this is 5 meters per second or 19.4 kilometers per hour, which is, and to be honest, really fast. Uh, that's like uh, jogging. No, yeah, it's like if you would just. No, it's more like it's really fast walking. Uh, I would say it's pretty fast walking. Yeah, but <clears throat> again, this is just the set without sprinting or without using any uh, uh, help from the outside, just standing on the belt. When I was sprinting on the belt, again, without, oh no, yeah, uh, when I was sprinting on the belt, it took me 37 seconds, which is significantly faster than the Mark II, of course, uh, and this is 14.9 meters per second, or... 53.6 kilometers per hour. This is really fast. That's like driving on your uh, your main roads. You can yeah, driving on your main roads. That's that's really fast. That's like uh, that's faster than driving a truck in in, in factory, to be honest. So now enough from the uh, talking about numbers. Let's hop right into the second but last. So, Convoyer Belts Mark IV, what do you need for them? Well, pretty simple, you need just uh, those encased industrial beams, or which, what do I call them? Fucking cheese. Because, <laughs> I mean, obviously, they look like packaged cheese, aren't they? Uh, well, again, background recipe, and uh, those get unlocked at, and I think, uh, in the... Same as the enhanced seal production or after that one, but yeah, just around this thing. Um, those are the most useful ones for medium to large size factories and also for your storage systems because they are not that expensive and they are fairly uh, easy to get. Now, coming at the numbers, those were really, really, really fast. I mean, standard uh, speed from of those are 480 items per minute which already is really much. This is already a really, really, really good speed. Well, it took us f uh, 0 0.56 minutes or, <clears throat> uh, no, what am I talking about? It took us 56 seconds. Uh, and this is equivalent to 9.8 meters per second, just standing there, uh, which is also equivalent to 35.6 kilometers per hour. This is really, really fast, guys. We're not talking slow here. Um, and with standing on them, it took us 29 seconds. And this is equivalent to 90 meters per second or 68.4 kilometers per hour. This is insanely fast, guys. So let's hop right into the last one. So the last one and the final convoyer belt, we're talking convoyer belt Mark V. So I'm not going to talk much about this one because the time in the background is really uh, not that much because I really speeded through it. Well, uh, again, background recipe. The Mark V one is by far the fastest act at the moment in the game. There will be more uh, and faster ones later on. But for now, uh, it can carry 720 items per minute, which is really fast, guys. Those are the ones you need for your mega factory. Well, you need a couple of them, but you know what I mean. Now, it took me only 34 seconds. 
which is slower than sprinting on a Mark III belt. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is equivalent to 16.2 meters per second or 80, 58 kilometers per hour. You are so fast on those. This is really in, <laughs> this is not that, it's, it's extreme. Now, with sprinting, guys, it took me 22 seconds. That, you think that sounds like not much, but guys, this is 25 meters per second. This is 90 kilometers per hour. The, you are nearly as fast on the highway uh, as you are in those things. This is really fast, guys. And uh, yeah, so let's see the whole thing. So guys, as you've seen in the video, uh, those conveyor belts are really, the difference between them is really huge. And uh, I hope this video gave you a bit of a real life perspective on how fast they are. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, 90 kilometers per hour is really fast by just walking on the Mark V ones. Um, maybe I'm going to do a video about those other things like you know, hypertube speeders and stuff. Uh, but I'm not quite sure because this video was so much work. And guys, please, if you like the video, please give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. It would help me out a lot, guys. And you would just help me out with the community. Um, with this said, I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, have a good day and we see us in the next video, guys.